about a month or so, I saw this YouTube video I follow, uh, Adult Cello uh, YouTube video, and uh, he suggested that if you've even started to think about removing the finger position tapes from your cello, that's the time to do it. And so uh, I did it. The only thing I did was to leave a little piece of tape on the back of the cello neck uh, where my thumb should go. And that kind of helps uh, you know that that's about where your second finger should go. And so, but it does feel much better without the tapes when you're playing. So it's a step up. Of course, no cello can do without his own uh, college hoodie. Um, I have to actually use this. Well, I decided to. Don't have to. Because my house, an old house, is pretty much like an ice box uh, during the night and in the morning before I turn up the heat. And so to avoid any problems in the varnish or anything, I thought, well, I'll just put this hoodie on my cello during the night. Well, anytime I'm not playing it, actually, to kind of keep the temperature consistent. Kind of good fashion statement, huh? Here's today's project. I like playing uh, the duets that they have in the lesson books, and so here's one that I thought I'd try. And what I want to try, however, is to use my Yamaha keyboard to record the bottom part and then play along with it um, on my cello. And so I kind of had to figure out how to do that, how to do that with the Yamaha. Uh, you use a USB um, flash memory stick right there and then you set it up to record. And uh, what I still want to figure out, however, is how to um, make my recording repeat so I can just not have to turn around and start the recording over and over if I want to keep practicing. I haven't figured that out yet. What, what it says in the book, in the manual for the Yamaha, isn't quite clear or doesn't work, I'm not sure, but anyway. So I tried that out today, and uh, it's kind of cool. The Yamaha cello sounds much better than I do at this point. So anyway, uh, here it is.